Hello and welcome to today's edition of Crack and Cryptic on Tuesday 12th of December. Um, we're going to take a look at my solve of today's puzzle now. Um, this is one of those occasions where I think um, you know, a vlog is very much called for. Uh, this is a very, very difficult puzzle today um, and a very interesting puzzle. Some great clue writing um, yeah, and a lot to talk about. So without further ado, um, let's put up the soul. Hopefully you can see it on the screen now. Um, I don't know that I've ever, or well certainly not in the last decade, had such a slow start to a puzzle. Um, you can see I've already scrambled around. I found a vow at three down, so confess to a vice at first, that's AV, uh, and then it hurts, ow. That wasn't so bad. And you can see that now I'm just flicking through, trying to find something to write in. Um, and yeah, it's not easy. Um, and I think one of the things I liked about the puzzle generally is how little the setter relied on, you know, conventions. Um, so there wasn't a lot of, you know, crossword ease in the typical sense here. You can see I'm having a look at 10 across again. I'm flicking around, just trying to find something to write in. Um, I'd never heard of Etty, um, who I think was a 19th century artist. Um, and I could see Etty as a possibility here. You can see I put the E in, but I don't really like it because it's just, it doesn't seem like it's a word I, you know, a word I know. So carrying on here, you know, even even at 15 down, where for ja, the start of the wordplay here, J-A being yes in German, he doesn't use German yes, he uses German we agree um, for, you know, the expression that one might say if uh, one was the queen in German, <laughs> ja, um, for we agree. Um, you can see, look, I'm two minutes, 42 seconds into the puzzle. Um, I've got one answer in the grid and still floundering around, desperately trying to get, you know, something more in the grid in order to help. I've got, all I've got from a vow is an A and an O, which um, in some fairly unhelpful checking positions. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's great. It's great when you see a puzzle this difficult, but, um, and I could see this was an anagram. It looked like an anagram of lad and censor. And pardon slave, my first thought I have to confess was Spartacus, which obviously isn't an anagram of lad and censor. And I didn't come up with Androcles for quite some time. I get sepal now, let's just take a quick look at the clue there. Bit of a bloomer, well, immediately a five letter, five letter bits of flowers. You should be thinking of petal, you should be thinking of sepal. So then it's just a question of what's going on with the rest of it. And, um, you know, it's very... So being as far as possible from northwest China, well, southeast is as far as possible from the northwest. And then China here is capitalized with a question mark. And that's because this has got nothing to do with the country China. This is a China as in an old word for a friend. And that's where the pal's coming from um, there. And I thought, well, this, this is now going to open up the puzzle because now I've got you know, this important letter in six down. And I know that six down is, is some sort of anagram because she's into wandering. Well, that's going to be an anagram of she's into. About in French, well, um, you can see I've managed to work, think, I spent quite a while here thinking this is some sort of, sort of speedo suit or something like that. Um, uh, and trying to work out how to get du in French in there because I think that might in some way be in in French. I certainly don't see tennis shoe at this point. And this was evil, I think, the setter. I think this may be a deliber deliberate trap. If we have a look at 14 down, it's a superb clue. So flash twin waffling, suffering from loss of memory. Now, in terms of twins that one might come across uh, in in crossword clues, by far the most common. I mean, apart from the, the Gemini possibility, I guess, uh, for twins, 
uh, twin, it looks like Romulus and Remus. That's always what I would be thinking of if I saw the word twin. And here you can see how the word Romulus, um, suffering from a loss of memory, well there are two types of memory one tends to come across in crosswords, both of which are computer related. There's RAM and there's ROM. Um, so read-only memory being ROM, well that seems to be able, you seem to be able to take that out of Romulus. It gives you an odd selection of letters, it gives you U-L-U-S. But once you get that idea, you can see I've put it in immediately here, I'm convinced that I now need to come up with a word that means flash that somehow contains the letters U-L-U-S. I'm probably going to try and put it in at the beginning in a minute. Um, and once you get an idea like this that seems so likely, because it seems to confirm two bits of wordplay, it's very, very hard to um, to get your mind off that track. Um, yeah, and as I say, I suspect this was a deliberate trap, and we'll we'll talk about how you're meant to think about it um, in a minute. To sit nine down, take some time to get fit. I I wanted to put. I think I get a G in here at some point, and I wanted to put strong for the longest time because I could see how there was a T in that and fit. I think if you're fit, you're strong, but I just couldn't see how the rest of the wordplay worked. And after the debacle yesterday, when I put in addition instead of elision, um, you know, I made a mental note not to just slap things in because they fit. And Let's have a look at four, four across here. I don't solve it at this point, but it's another interesting, um, interesting clue. Uh, international team. Oh, I've clicked off it now. Hang on, maybe I can go go back a little bit. Let me do this. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to come up now. Um, so international teams way to win holding firm. Well. I think most setters here, once we know what the answer is, I'll, I'll tell you the answer, the answer is Scotland, and I think most setters at this point would have clued this as country, uh, or you know, in something more normal than international team, which is, you know, it's, it's, um, it just makes the clue so much harder, and of course he's done that because it fits very well with the wordplay, so way to win holding firm. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a superb piece of wordplay. Way being street, S-T. To win is to land. Um, and then holding firm, so put all of that around CO for firm and you get Scotland, which is the answer. Now, um, yeah, but another example of why this, this crossword is, is not the most straightforward. Now, I'm just going to point your attention here to the time. 6.55, I have two answers in the grid. So, you know, as I say, it must be, I think even with the listener crossword, I've never had this slow a start. Um, right, I get tanking now. So champion after bronze, so that's tan for bronze. Again, a slight bit of misdirection in that BR is an abbreviation for bronze that you occasionally see. And then champion for king. Digitalis, once I had the G, wasn't too difficult because we've got enjoy dig. If you enjoy something, you you dig it. So, again, very clever. Everything almost is almost all of all, so just the A and the L, um, and then connected with ones. Um, so that needs to be connected with IS for ones. Uh, and that gives you the plant, the digitalis. And finally, I have some traction in the grid. Um, I managed to guess the wrong the wrong abbreviation for gold there and finally realize what's going on at seven down. Another example of, you know, just a very clever surface which is very hard to get a grip on. So I'm going to pass on gold rings. Um, so I'm going is the clue here. That's it. If you say I'm going, you're saying goodbye, adieu. Um, and then to pass is to die. Um, or to to pass on is to die as well. Um, and then gold rings, so you're putting AU, being the chemical uh, element gold, um, that is ringing the word die. Um, but again, once you, if you have no letters in there, I'm going to pass on gold rings. Well, rings, 
when I see that word and I think that might be wordplay, I'm thinking of OS or OOS or something like that. So very difficult to get a handle on exactly how that works. Now 13 across, I thought of sobriquet quite quickly, but I wasn't aware of well, I think I, um, I was vaguely aware of the alternative spelling, but you can see I've tried to put in the, the more normal spelling, or certainly the, the spelling I tend to think of, which is without the, the U after the O there. And I'm sort of looking at this now thinking, what the hell is going on? I think eventually my brain untangles itself, and I realise I realize how the spelling could work. Um, yeah, there we go. Hello, yeah. Okay, so that's okay. And then we go on to five down, which is now, you know, I've been to Germany a few times. I reckon I know my German cities, if not from visiting them from football, but um, window cleaner outside. Um, and here we have the German city of uh, Cottbus. Um, so C for constant, well we've seen that before, and bus for public transport, well that's not too difficult, but curbing excessive, well OTT is excessive, but you can see I, I couldn't bring myself to put it in, because it's just, if you don't know it's the, the name of a city, it doesn't seem a very likely collection of letters. I can't think of any other word uh, I know that contains a T, a T and a B in consecutive positions, um, but uh, but there we are, and but the guess of the S there finally allowed me to get Joe Blocks, which is, um, I mean, this is a brilliant clue. So ordinary fellow is the um, is the definition, obviously, and then we've got English journal E, and then a blog for a journal, uh, commandeered by Trots. Well, Trots here is Jogs. So again, I mean, I might have, if I was the editor, I might have insisted on a question mark here because the trots here is clearly trying to get you to think about, um, you know, trots as in communists. Um, so certainly when I read the clue, I was wanting to put reds around the outside of something. Um, and here, this, this capitalization of the T on trots is completely misleading and arguably, yeah, that's why I like the question mark, because it is not referring to a capitalised meaning of the word trot. Um, and therefore, I think it's a little bit naughty, perhaps, on uh, with hindsight. Um, but certainly, I'll forgive the setter, because overall, this puzzle is such high quality. I don't think I get bling bling at this point. I now go back to having a look at uh, the Scottish clue. Um, still now 10 minutes in still made very very little progress although I suppose it's better than where we were at seven minutes didn't see uh, uh, palmistry at um, 17 down so mean is poultry there retaining notes and so mis mis uh, so do re you need to be always thinking about do re mi fa so la ti do um, when you see the word notes, um, and then a future reading for Palm Street. I was thinking of prescience and things like that. And I go back, to, I might get 15 down now, I think, which is obviously a hugely important clue, given it, given it gives us uh, another four starting letters. And here this works with German, we agree, is ja, followed by not cut up. And if something's not cut up, it's undiced. And if you're resentful, you're jaundiced. And I think Mark mentioned the other day that I think I can't remember what the what the clue was about, but uh, you know there was a reference to I was yellowness, wasn't it? And jaundiced being uh, synonymous. And here I have to say, resentful for jaundiced is they're not the most obvious synonym. Um, I'm sure it's supported by the dictionary, but it's just. You know, I think if, if something's jaundiced, I see it as a bit tired and um, you know ill-looking rather than resentful. And there's a mistake in there, so let's just take a look at what I was thinking. So at um, 26 across, I've gone for cashier, and the way I got that was not exactly I thought would be circa. I thought that would be ca. And then I convinced myself that promising. If you're promising more, you might be shyer. So if you know, 
uh, in a sort of coy manner. I, I thought he might be promising more. Um, and then I thought um, to staff could be to cashier in some odd way or a cashier might be a member of staff. I'm not quite sure what I was thinking, but at this point I was fairly desperate. So um, uh, I went for this. It doesn't help with getting good O of 22 down. Maybe, I don't think I'd looked at 22 down at this point, and maybe I could have cold, so, solved it without that S. But it certainly, it certainly makes it much more difficult once uh, you're trying to, to think about an S in there. I could see cook might be do, uh, for some reason, I didn't think of goo for treacly stuff. Ah, here we go. I know. I guess. I think that's a guess at the ending of 14 down. Small nation. This was Andorra, so not forgetting is and. <laughs> OR for ordinary men and military academy RA. Um, so, yeah, again, this, this setter does not like to use, um, you know, normal sh the, the normal crossword ease that would allow you to make progress much more quickly androcles now i get it that's good and i think i do get i think of dram for a small drink here um and that's going to surround the e for the start of extra and then the t from the time goes at the end and that gives gives me a bit more traction in the bottom bottom right you can see second mo knit for buffoon and or this time for gold rather than AU which we saw we saw earlier. I don't think I solved palmistry here. And strop, this was I think my last one in. Um, I, you know I was vaguely aware that you know strop is a piece of leather I think that can be used to sharpen razors amongst other things. Uh, and that's what this clue is getting at. And obviously, if you're in a pet, you're in a strop. Um, so it's a clever surface referring to the two meanings of the word strop. But if, if either of them are not, you know, are not quite there, it's not an easy clue because there are so many things that fit. Even once you have the S, you have S blank R blank P. I certainly considered syrup at one point there. Um, Cozy up wasn't too difficult, so commanding officers, COs, and yup for an informal agreement. And then we've got of and then Northern Ireland reversed in info, so again, not too difficult. And then another time is bis, B I S, which is a, an old word that can mean twice, I think, uh, and that's surrounding A and bias. So, yeah, there's a lot of very difficult stuff here. I'll be surprised. I mean, I'll be surprised if there are too many time, too many real times under ten minutes for this puzzle. Now I'm going to have a think about what this could be. And again, there's just so much scrap. You know, is a pet a scrap? Probably not. But um, there's probably about twelve words that would fit that. Um, you know that selection of letters and making sure you have the right one well it's part of the skill I guess but it's also not easy when one of the meanings is you know is slightly beyond your ken. Uh, what was 28 across I think that was drop goal wasn't it so no longer have desire to score uh, no longer have desire if you drop one's goal um, you you sort of no longer have the desire to score, and then a points would be a drop goal. I think that's what's getting at. And finally, I figure out bling bling, which turns out to be uh, repeated words meaning waffling. So if you rambling, if you repeat rambling, you get rambling, rambling, and then remove the memory from both of those, you get bling bling, which of course is flash. So I think, you know, it's a brilliant clue, but so difficult. Um, and I needed that in order to get dog's bodies. So servants emerging from shadows, or if you shadow something, you, you dog it. Um, so dogs for shadows, and then bodies for forms. Um, very, very difficult. And I think that the G is important. Every, literally every checking letter you extract in a puzzle like this is important. I finally can get good O, that will give me drop goal. And then 26 across, 
becomes easier now because I can see how not exactly could just be C rather than CA and then promising more would be rosier. If something's rosy it's promising. Um, and it, you know, it's slowly, very slowly coming together. I wanted this to be um, uh, an anagram. You can see how a wide step is uh, is nine letters, and I can see the word moving there. Um, but it just didn't occur to me. Waist deep is the answer, um, which is an you know another feature of a very clever clue. And you know we've seen this before from the very best of the time setters, where they use a very common piece of crossword ease to totally misdirect. And in two down, you see the the word wide. Uh, and obviously in cricket, a wide is abbreviated W, and therefore, you know, that's always trying to hint that that might be what's required at the start of the clue. Um, and it's just these these little bits of misdirection that make puzzles like this very, very difficult. Uh, now, I did get unpin in the middle of that, which was... Um, so what was that? That was a set of countries. Well, a set of countries was UN. And then a private code, well, your PIN number is a private code. And if you unpin something, you separate it. So that's what was going on with this one. And then cold so solved to toke at one down. Now, I think I could have got this earlier, actually, because it's not that hard a clue, certainly compared to the rest of the puzzle. So a sending up of books, well, we've seen before that it references to books in the wordplay of these puzzles quite often is either the Old Testament or the New Testament. So certainly, given I need to reverse that and it's to make a string of intelligible letters, the only way that would work was would be with TO rather than TN. Um, and then I, I just needed to read the next bit correctly. So in French, that was how I needed to read that rather than French, that is, or you know, the problem again is that is is so often IE in wordplay that you know it's just it just misled me long enough for me not to fixate on the fact that I do know that k in French means that and I do know the word toke as you just you know, as we've just seen because I could solve that cold once once I read the wordplay correctly. Now I can't remember if I solved tobar now. This was again very very clever because closed is being used as a synonym there for two, as in if a door is is two, it's shut, um, and you know it's fine, it's completely fair, but it's just very hard. Ah, there we go, waist deep, and now once you've got the W, tow bar becomes do doable because you get closed to fighting war all around B. And, uh, a draw is in something that allows you to draw things is a tow bar. And I really liked nine down actually. Let's just take a quick look at that. Um, so take some time to get fit. You saw I wanted to put strong in for such a long time. Um, well, if you take some time at something, it's saying you, you be long, <laughs> which is. Um, yeah, again, very nice um, use of language there to, to mislead. And finally, Scotland goes in, um, which we've talked about. And then I think I spend a few seconds thinking about what to put in at 24 down before finally submitting. And you can see I've put in strop now, and I think if I sit here and think about this for another 45 seconds. And I, in fact, there you go, I remove the T and the O because I'm not completely certain. Um, but in the end it does go in and uh, yeah turns out to be correct so this was a super puzzle um, I love these although they take longer and they take longer to do the vlog on because there's so much explanation needed um, you know I think even for experienced solvers they'll get quite a lot out of this puzzle so kudos to the setter fantastic thanks for watching